gets the profile of the Naka deck. Okay. Then add plane one. It should be on the right plane and have a distance of 150 mm. Okay, then check. And then make the second sketch on plane one. So the diameter is 100, so it's not dimension. So got the diameter of 100. And then on sketch, You're going to make three diskets. Three diskets. So click three diskets. Okay. So these are the three diskets. You make a spline and a straight line. There are three straight line. One, two, three. And then spline one, two, three, four, connecting the circle and the profile of the Nakadak. So after that, you are going to loop boost. So on pictures, you use the lopted boss base. Okay. So on lopted pose base, you're going to select the profiles, your Percy sketch, which is the base of the Nakadak and the circle. Okay. So this will be on the profiles and the guide curves. Guide curves, we have to select one by one all the three D sketches. So we have seven 3D sketches. After that, check. And then you, you get already a solid uh, We change for this one, we remove the appearance. Okay, never mind. So after that, we are going to shell it. Yes. Okay. So to shell, you're going to select two paces, the pace of the circle and the pace of the profile of the Nakadak. So you have the pace one, pace one is this, and then pace two will be this side, okay? And then the thickness is 3 mm. Then check, okay. So now we have a shell uh, Nakadak. So we are going now to draw the plunge. All right. So to make the plunge of the Nakadak, we are going to make our sketch. So this is the sketch. We go to the right plane, sketch on right plane, and convert entities on the edges of the profile of the Naka. Convert entities using this portion. And then you select the edges of 
the NACA. Okay, you can select the inner edges. So after selecting the inner edges, just check, and then you will have already your first drawing. If you have the first drawing, then you can offset entity. You can use offset entity and select the inner edge and then change the value to 20. So once done, then check again. All right. So after that, we are going to extrude both. So extrude both the two sketches into 3 mm so the thickness will be 3 mm same as the thickness of the nakadak and then check okay to make this uh now we can if you don't want to see all the sketches we can hide all the sketches by clicking them one by one say this one i want to hide so we have to click the eye symbol I have I want to hide this one so right click and then click the eye symbol I want to hide the 3d sketch also click and so all the sketches one more here oh it's already hidden so it's all now if we want to change the material we can go here and if you notice, we use the composite material and we select from here what is the design of the composite material. So this is selected. You can select this one. And from here, either you want see Nakada is already selected. So that's why it's like this. Okay. And then check now on the inside so that we can see clearly I color it red okay so how to color it red we go here on this icon and then we select the paste so clear this one clear selection and then select the paste And then we select the inside okay we have to select all all right and then the color we can open the color so let's say i want the red so i click only on the red all right so on the appearance i don't want to have the composite i want the painted so we can go on painted sprayed and then i want this red and check so the inside of the nakadak is red and the outer portion is composite in appearance so this is sketch we can just delete this one it's not necessary okay yes all right so the nakadak is already complete 